So, uh, we have women from Libya, Syria, Yemen, Somalia, and Sudan. One of the issues that we are discussing is even though the United Nations has resolutions like the 1325, which says that women should participate and be part of, uh, of mediation and negotiation and working on, um, on peace. Because women, you know, are the mothers and the wives and the sister and all of that. And when conflicts and crises come, they're always the ones that end up to work, you know, they're the backbone of the family, you know, um, educating the children, sending them to school. Uh, they, they, the woman's solution is always for peace. So it's important to work with women on peace issues because she has something at stake and she's continuously thinking about it. Her livelihood depends on it. We cannot think peace as something that's not personal. The minute we start thinking about peace as something close up and very personal, then we will come up with a solution. You know, if you talk to a Somali or if you talk to a Syrian, you will find out the way she speaks and the emotions she has. It is so personal. But the point is, there are mechanisms. We can't go into the problems of uh, you know, women and where we all know it's social, it's political, it's culture, it's this, it's that. It's dictatorship, it's, uh, you, know, uh, you know, the lack of rights, it's the lack of or the political will of governments that are not going to implement what's in the constitution. Morocco has one of the most wonderful constitutions in the world. They would tell you that, yes, the constitution is a piece of paper because it hasn't been implemented. It's easy to blame the government. The United Nations cannot even implement this. Case in point, Syria, Brahimi, uh, excuse me, the Syrian woman had to go right and left, trying to be at the table. Ibrahim does not have a gender advisor, you know, in the, to begin with. So for him to sit with the woman and then take a picture, that's fine. But the point is, is he really going to take the woman and insist and talk to the opposition and the government and everybody else that women should be at the table? The government will bring their own woman. Uh, the opposition will bring their own woman. But civil society and independent women should be at the table. This uh, seminar is extremely important because you have the League of Arab States. I'm told it's one of those few times, if not the first time, that you actually have five, six you know, important people sitting there listening to what the women are saying. And also for them explaining what the League of Arab States does. Many of us were not, did not have, uh, uh, we were not very lucky to hear that before today. And I think this is very important. So when they heard what the women were saying, certainly 1325, you know, people were speaking. Uh, you know, some people are hopeful now and, you know, excited that they will be talking more, talking, you know, to the League of Arab States, uh, insisting that women should be in, on the delegations. Meaningful women, not just any woman, uh, should be there. 1325 should be something that they should take very seriously. The Syrian crisis or Sudanese crisis, maybe women peacemakers, uh, uh, should invoice should be sent, uh, you know, when you have an uh, sending a, an investigative team, you know, women should be leading. It's easier to deal with the League of Arab States because you feel you are part of it and it's yours. The United Nations is something you share with everybody else. So I think it's that closeness that, you know, you have the civil society and you have the League of Arab States. The League of Arab States represents the government. Everyone's always complaining about the government, but here you have this entity you know, that can make uh, the relationship more closer. So if you ask me what's the most important part of this, certainly this was one of the most important part was to have governments, the League of Arab States and civil society talking to each other about the possibilities of working closer to bring change.